the work I was doing a lot was a lot of layering. So I would paint something and then cover it to kind of like have a sense of like the the truth is always hidden in a way. And and uh, it was more of like a it was kind of like a, a way of thinking, not and the work would come out a certain way. Um, and at that time, I was kind of going through a lot. I lost my dad. I lost my grandfather. So I was kind of like coming up in the world as like a, a man and it was uh uh i was like in search of truth you know and uh so i was making work like that for a while and then i just felt like it wasn't this is the thing about art and i feel it's very prevalent i see it a lot where when you're making the work sometimes you're not making the work what I'm saying is there's something that comes inside of you that makes the work. But the thing is, when I was younger, I would let whatever that thing is come through me and I would let let it make the work. The thing is, you have to be um, you have to guard your heart because we don't understand the, the universe and some of the things that come through us can kind of not have our best interests. Mm-hmm. So. It can even be maybe in just a color or a shape or a face. Um, and I knew this because I talked to some people that had some of my earlier work in this certain time frame. And they told me that they were in a really bad part in li- a really bad part of life. And, they, you know, they were being spiritually tormented and, and like have anxiety and things like that. And then they would have to grab my painting and like take it down and put it away. So because these things that we make it brings something you know what i mean like it's like an artifact so the energy that comes into it has a life of its own so that was a lot of the things i was battling when i was younger because it's like it's almost like you go into autopilot and something else takes over and it makes the work better than almost you could right and as i've gotten older i've tried to harness it and i make sure it's coming from a, the best place possible. And it's like, it's like your home. You're not going to leave your front door open. It's the same thing with our heart. We can't just leave our, just can't leave the door open to just allow whatever. Let me do this best painting. Come on. Let me just come in through me. Let's make it happen. Well, I hate to cut you off. No, it's fine. just like I had a thought, which is, I think a lot of times, and, and this is like the struggle I feel often, which is, Every time you do a new piece, for you it's art, for me it's food or whatever, you're putting your a uh, piece of yourself yeah. on the plate. For you it's a canvas. And it's just out there for the world. And it, it leaves a portion of you vulnerable for whatever people would think of it. Right. And for me, like um, it's very like nuts and bolts. You know, right. It always comes down to like financials. Because yeah. you know, like, we're running a business at the end of, of the course. day. And I, I'm totally aware of that. Um, you know, that snapper dish costs X, Y, and Z, but like the reason why that snapper dish exists, there's such a story behind it and an evolution of how it ended up on the menu. I would say that 99.9% of the people that eat that dish would never know how important that dish is to me. Right, right. Or what it represents for me. But I've left the door open for someone to ask. And if someone asked, I would tell them the story. Right. And it's stuff like that to me that, you know. Well, yeah, can, that, that's that's like a that's like uh, that's like the same thing with art because it lives there and you don't kind of know what happened when they were experiencing it. Right. But you're not going to like be a storyteller standing right next to the, the right. dish. I mean, right. I guess you could come out as a chef and maybe say a few things, but no, never. that's not that never happens. Yeah, never. So I think that's just a reality of of. of when you make something. Well, it's creation. Yeah, creation, you know. Uh, Everyone experience, experiences that thing, whether it's food or art, painting or whatever, differently, you know. I think for some people could, in my in my case, just to satiate an appetite or they're really trying to have an experience and they want to know why. Right. Um, it, it's, it's very like, it's a very broad and like interesting place to be you know it's like a very the vulnerability is exhausting 
at times. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I, a lot of people don't, they totally don't get that because I think a lot of people aren't totally engaged with food or with what they do as much as artists are or yeah. creators are. Um, but it, it's tough. Like sometimes you feel like you, uh, at least for me personally, like you put so much of yourself out there that it's like you're left almost rebuilding yourself in the process. Right. And it's a lot. You can only rebuild yourself so many times. Yeah, that's true. I think it's. Uh, I think it goes back to that place of whatever you're producing or making uh, is being okay with that part where people just don't get it sometimes. Right. And you know, I think it's it's a part of a, you know, um, uh, it's 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 the it's the scabs of battle and it just it just. You just get them and you just doesn't hurt anymore. And it's just like, you know, and, and I, I agree with that. But, but I, sometimes it does. <laughs> no, it, I mean, it, do, it does. It does leave like marks. It does yeah. leave like and it, not physical marks. Yeah, it's yeah. just more mental stuff that happens. But people don't see that. You know, like they, they don't. Uh, I don't think they'll experience that connection that you may have with a piece or that I have with food or certain dishes or whatever. And and um it's 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 a lot, I think, in the process. I mean, to deep dive, I think I think kind of everyone kind of fear, experiences that to a like on a human level. I mean, like you know, if someone doesn't understand my painting, I mean, there's some people that are homeless and nobody will even talk to them. Right, you know, that's it's true. I think it's like. I think it's a part of the human condition where we, we care so much about this thing and people just don't – people have so many, only so many hours in the day or only so much headspace where they're going to go eat uh, – they're going to eat or they're going to go to a gallery or go anywhere. And it's almost like they can only take in so much and it's just like, okay, I'm looking at it. Okay, I'm tasting it. That's as much as I can like bear right. you know, because people uh, – you know, and – also, just with social media today, man, people go through things so quickly. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, a, it's definitely like a flash in the pan society. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the, there's what are the long lasting effects? Uh, what are uh, everything is like instant gratification. I was shocked. I went to the design district last weekend and we were walking around and I looked around in like a courtyard area. And they were like, I counted like, like it was like six seven people and they were all doing like selfies and it was like they weren't having a good time they weren't like conversating with the people they were with they were all like with their friends and their friends had the camera and they were like posing or they were holding they were, they were like group of people and they were all kind of doing their thing with the camera and it's like it looks bizarre and it looks like <laughs> decorate you know the the, like the the crumbling of society. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I I, I would imagine that it, it also like man and machine. It's like become one.